Weave It Pro for the Mac, getting started to create your first draft. See it at weaveit.com. Hello, my name is Sally Breckenridge and I have been a weaver for many years. And I wrote Weave It for Pro for Windows many years ago. And then I wrote I Weave It for the iPads and for the Androids. And now I have written Weave It Pro for the Mac. And that's what I would like to present to you. I have uh, recorded a number of videos to demonstrate some of the features of Weave It Pro for the Mac. So welcome. This video demonstrates how to get started with a new draft for Weave It Pro for the Mac. The first thing you see is the edit window with the threading, the tie-up, and the treadling. The edit tools are on the sidebar and to the right of those is a floating color palette for your yarns. If you click on the left mount button, you change the color for the warp yarn shown at the top. If you click on the right mouse button, you see the color for the weft shown at the top. The first thing to do here is to open the help window and click on the little arrow to show the different items and we're going to select the edit modes. These are the little icons there to, that you see on the toolbar. This is mark, just taps to make a single cell. This is select, you drag it to make a selection. The line tool, you drag to make a line. The draw tool, you drag to draw curves and the rearrange tool you use to rearrange your shafts and treadles. We'll talk more about those two, the select and the rearrange, in the next video. But for now we're going to use the line one and we're going to draw a line. You'd mouse down on the first cell and just draw it and then lift your mouse button to draw another line. You do that and we'll do that, a, I don't know, one or two more times here to make I don't know. Let's see. I want to make that. One. There we go. We'll do it that way. I didn't want two in a row. Okay, so we now have our threading. To make a treadling, I'm just going to click on the cells in the first column of the tie-up, and then I'm going to select the extend the twill button on the toolbar. And when I press it, I get the entire uh, twill threadling that was created immediately. For the treadling, we're just going to quickly use the menu and pick Treadle as Drawn In, Change Colors. And it drew the entire um, treadling immediately. Next, we're going to pick the fabric view, and we can view our draw down as fabric and you can zoom in and out see it in small and you can look at the back and the front so now we're going to do something we're going to do look at our project the project information and we're going to show the project calculations to the side here you can uh, see the info window, the first page. It has, uh, you can use, choose your different types of unit of measure. You can enter in as little or as much information as you want. Um, right now I'm just going to use the defaults for the set and the waist and shrinkage. And I'm going to make some changes on the yarn. First thing I'm to do is give the yarn a name. I just call it by the color because that's how easily to identify it. And I can use the type, so we'll call it 10-2. And I'm just going to use the default settings for the set. 
So then I'm going to go to the warp tab. You have three ways of calculating the width of your loom. You can use the draft, you can use the width that you want to put on the loom, or you can use the width that you would like to get off of the loom, the finished width. In this case, I'm going to use the loom width and set it to 20. You can also set the length of the warp. And again, you can use the draft, or you can use the loom, or you can put in your desired amount. And I'm going to put in the desired finished length, because I need three yards for my project. And it will show 4.33 yards that I need to put on my loom. I can update this right here, and I click it at any time, and it shows me all the information that I need, uh, that I entered into the project info. And I'm going to need 481 warps and all the other information, how many yards I need to. Okay, so we're going to close this, and I want to show you that on the window menu, you can also see the heddle count, the color order, the sectional warping, and all of these four things can be printed so that you can have a print down of it. So next I think I want to make a change to my project. I want to change the yarn and instead of using 10-2 cotton, I want to use 22 cotton, which I would normally set about 36. And that's how you use the variable width. You set it to the amount that you would normally use for just weaving with that yarn. Then I leave this one the same because uh, it's faster to just use the default than to use a variable size. This bar here is used for displaying it. So this time 36 ends per inch is less than the 24 EPI that I use for 10-2, so I set this to thin. And when I accept it by closing this window, you immediately see that the fabric view is now showing the more collapsed version of the draft, and it shows it as you might actually see it or use it. And Finally, I want to show you uh, how to change a color. So let's say blue and green wasn't really what I wanted. And so I'm going to change the weft and I'm going to change it to red. I select the red color. I pick selection. I select one cell. I select all. And I pick this color tool here that says apply color change to selection. So I click on that one and immediately you see that you have a Christmas pattern and it's red and green. So that is the end of this demo. Um, there's a next demo will be on editing. Uh, Thank you from Weave It Pro for the Mac. See it at www.weaveit.com and buy it in your app store on your Mac.